Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to each of you. So today you are going to learn about cell division which is the third chapter during the semester. As you can see from the picture over here, there are a few cells which is dividing. You can see this one cell is in the process of dividing to form two cells. And when cells divide, one cell is becoming two cells and two cells will divide again to form four cells and will divide again to form eight cells, will divide again to form 16 cells and the process will go on. So, when we are learning about cell division, students should be able to show and explain about the stages of cell cycle. But first, let's define what is meant about cell cycle. By definition, cell cycle is the complete sequence of events in the life of an individual diploid cell. So, what is meant by diploid? Diploid cell is when the cell consists of two sets of chromosomes. It means... The chromosome is in forms of pairs. Example. So this is one chromosome. But for diploid cell, the chromosome is in form of pairs. Like this one. Let's go further to understand about cell cycle. So this is a diagram of cell cycle. As you can see, it is divided into two main phases, which are interphase and also mitotic phase. Interphase is further divided into three. The first one is G1, the second one is S phase, and the third one is G2 phase. At the end of G2, mitotic phase will start and mitotic phase is the actual process where the cells divide to form two cells as i already mentioned in a dividing cells the mitotic phase alternates with interphase the interphase is the long phase while mitotic phase is the short phase and you already know that interphase consists of G1 phase, S phase, and G2 phase. While mitotic phase consists of two subphases, which is mitosis, also known as karyokinesis. Karyokinesis is where the nucleus divides. Let me give you an example. So this is a cell. And the cell consists of one nucleus. During karyokinesis, the cells does not divide. So it's still one single cell. But you can see there will be two nucleus because the nucleus already divided. So this process is named as karyokinesis. While... The other one is cytokinesis. Cytokinesis involves the cytoplasmic division. This is where the cell actually divides. So, you can see from here, the cells will divide its cytoplasm to form two cells each with their own nucleus. So, this is where cytokinesis process occurs. So, the first one where the nucleus divides is known as karyokinesis. While, where cytoplasmic divide, we call it as cytokinesis. Okay, let's move on. Interphase is the longest part of the cell cycle. It comprises of 90% of the whole process. So from the diagram, you can see this is the beginning of interphase and 
it almost finishes the cycle so it takes about 90 percent of the whole process it's divided into three phases as i mentioned before there are g1 or we call it as first gap phase and then we have s phase also known as synthesis phase and g2 phase also known as second gap phase during interphase, the cell grows and copies its chromosome in preparation for cell division during mitotic phase. Basically, interphase is not a process of dividing, but is a process of preparing the cell for mitotic phase. Let's look at the first phase in interphase, which is G1 phase. So during G1 phase, as you can see, this is a cell over here. So what happened during G1 phase is that the cell will grow. You can see the difference in the cytoplasm size. So why did the cell grow? This is because it has to accommodate for new organelles. Why? Because during G1 phase, new organelles are being synthesized. So when there are more organelles, therefore, there will be more synthesizing of protein by ribosome, more synthesizing of carbohydrate, lipids, and ribonucleic acids such as mRNA and tRNA. The next subphase is S phase. So S phase stands for synthesis phase the main component that is being synthesized is dna so as you already learned in chapter one dna comprises of histone proteins so before we synthesize new dna you have to synthesize new histone protein first then DNA replication occurs. So during this process, all single chromatid chromosome will be replicated to form sister chromatids. The third point is each chromosome consists of two chromatids. So this is what I meant by sister chromatid. Next, during G2 phase, Energy storage increases because there is increase in cell organelles such as mitochondria. An increase in numbers of mitochondria contributes to increase of energy level because mitochondria is where energy is produced. The third point is spindle fibers begins to form or formation of microtubules. What is spindle fiber? Spindle fiber is the structure that pulls the sister chromatids away from each other towards the opposite poles. Last but not least, there is more increase in size of nucleus. So if in G1 phase, volume of cytoplasm increase in g2 phase you can notice there is increase in size of nucleus now the cells is at the end of interphase and will enter mitotic phase from this diagram you can see that mitotic phase is the shortest part of cell cycle and you can see that mitotic phase is divided into two phases as i mentioned before the two phases are mitosis where the nucleus divides also known as karyokinesis the second one is cytokinesis where cytoplasm will divide to form two cells on the diagram over here I show you the detailed process of mitosis. We start with undivided cells and then you can see the sister chromatids are now aligned at the center of the cells becoming like this. 
and then there are spindle fibers so these red lines are spindle fibers which will pull the sister chromatids away from each other towards the opposite poles at the end of the process is cytokinesis during cytokinesis you can see the cells is dividing into two cells let's go more detail into mitotic phase so there are four stages of mitosis we have prophase we have metaphase we have anaphase and telophase tips to remember the stages of mitosis is to remember the first letter of the four stages which is PAPMAT PAPMAT Let's go further into mitosis At the end of the lesson, students should be able to state the stages of mitosis which are prophase, metaphase, anaphase and telophase the second one is you must be able to state the difference of cytokinesis in animal and plant cells please be reminded that the main difference between animal and plant cells is the presence of cell wall okay let me explain to you about mitosis Mitosis results in all daughter cells having same number of chromosomes as the parent cell, which is diploid. For example here, this is the parent cells. This parent cell has two chromosomes. One, two. Remember, the number of chromosomes is based on the number of centromeres it has. There are two chromosomes. Mitosis occurs in somatic cells. Somatic cells means every cell in your body except your reproductive cells which are sperms and ovums. So you can see over here, there are a few examples for plants such as meristematic cells, in shoots and root while in animals such as liver cells lung cells hand cells leg cells eye cells so every cells in your body except ovens and sperms the process of mitosis will be followed by cytokinesis so you can see here we have prophase we have metaphase we have anaphase we have telophase and the process will be followed by cytokinesis where the cytoplasm divides into two to form two cells so from here we can conclude the whole process we have interface where cells prepares for the process where it will grow it will replicate its dna during s phase and it will increase in energy level before they can proceed into mitosis which are prophase where you can see the nuclear membrane starts to disintegrate and then metaphase where the chromosome aligns at the metaphase plate followed by anaphase where the spindle fiber pulls the sister chromatid away from each other towards the opposite poles and this followed by telophase where you can see the nuclear membrane starts to reappear followed by cytokinesis where the cytoplasm starts to divide and this later will form two daughter cells. To help you understand further in the process of mitosis, 
Let's watch the following videos. During the first stage of mitosis, called prophase, we first see the classic chromosome structure. This occurs through a condensation process. At the same time, protein strands, called microtubules, appear from the centrosomes in animals. Finally, a structure found within the nucleus, the nucleolus, disappears. Next, prometaphase begins when the nuclear membrane is broken down. At the same time, microtubule strands, or spindle fibers, are growing from the centrosomes. These strands attach to a protein structure called the kinetochore. One kinetochore is attached to the centromere of each sister chromatid. Next comes metaphase. During this stage, the sister chromatids align along the center of the cell so that both chromatids face toward opposite poles of the cell. Now the sister chromatids are ready to be separated. This occurs during anaphase through a shortening of the microtubules attached to the kinetochores. Additionally, the poles of the cell move farther apart, causing increased separation of sister chromatids. At the end of anaphase, the sister chromatids have moved to the two ends of the cell. Telophase is the final stage of mitosis. It is here the components of the new cells begin to appear. At this point, the spindle fibers are broken up. A new nuclear membrane surrounds the chromosomes at the end of each cell, and the chromosomes uncoil and return to an uncondensed state. Mitosis is now complete. The formation of two cells is all that remains. Following mitosis, the cell undergoes a process called cytokinesis. That's the end of the video. Last but not least, let's differentiate cytokinesis process in two types of cells, which are animal cells and plant cells. In animal cells, cytokinesis begins with cleavage furor, where you can see there is contractile ring that will split the cells into two daughter cells. While in plant cells, the process is known as formation of cell plate, where vesicles will form in the middle of the cell to form cell plate. And eventually, this cell plate will fuse with the cell wall to form the new cell wall. And so now, we have two daughter cells. So I hope you can already show and explain the stages of cell cycle. You can also state the stages of mitosis as well as the difference between cytokinesis in animals and plant cells. Thank you very much. Have a good day.